In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. With your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare <clears throat> ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You come in war and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have accomplished the work of human redemption through the paschal mystery of your only begotten Son, graciously grant that we who confidently proclaim under sacramental signs the death and resurrection of Christ may experience continued increase of your saving grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I have received from the Lord what I have also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was handed over, took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it and said, this is my body, this is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, also took the cup after supper, saying, This is the cup, the new covenant of my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. The word of the Lord. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be forever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord. And he answered me, and he delivered me from all my fears. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see, the Lord is good. Blessed the one who takes refuge in him. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Fear the Lord, you his holy ones, for naught is lacking to those who fear him. The great grow poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord want for no good thing. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. I am the living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. 
The Jews murmur about Jesus because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. And they said, Is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph? Do we not know his father and mother? Then how can he say, I have come down from heaven? Jesus answered and said to them, Stop murmuring among yourselves. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him, and I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, They shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father, except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, today is Holy Thursday. Normally, the church does not celebrate a Mass on Holy Thursday morning, unless it is a Christmas Mass which in the Archdiocese is celebrated on Tuesdays for practical reasons. But if you pay attention to the readings, these readings are very Eucharistic. The letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians describes the consecration of the bread and the wine. And the Gospel from John 6, which we normally call the Eucharistic chapter of John's Gospel. It's all about the Eucharist. All about the Eucharist. And it will continue from 52 on when he quarrels with the Jews and he tells them, you have to eat my body and you have to eat, drink my blood and they are like, he's going crazy. But he doesn't back down. He tells them, amen, amen, I say to you, if you don't eat my body and do not drink my, my um, blood, you will not have life in you. No, you will not go to heaven. He doesn't, doesn't back down. And when I have conversations with my Protestant friends. I always tell them about this chapter. I say, what part of this chapter you do not understand? Because it's very clear. Well, it's figure speech. Oh, so you believe in the Bible. They, whatever the Bible says, that's what it is. And not here. And the issue is that only 33% of us believe this. Only 33% of Catholics in the United States believe in the presence of Jesus Christ in the bread and the wine, consecrated into his body and his blood. And I, I, probably you remember, we've talked about this many times, when the, the Pew Foundation did the research on this, it was a scandal a few years back. That only 33% of us believed in the real presence. Well, all these days, especially tonight, you're going to come to Mass, to the 
Last Supper Mass, the day when we celebrate the institution of the priesthood and the Eucharist. And when you come, I want you to look at that little piece of bread and look at that chalice and remind yourself that he who is eternal came into this temporal world to die for us on the cross so we can have eternal life, so we can be with him for all eternity. And that his promise that he will be with us until the end of times is accomplished here in the Eucharist. So when you come tonight, just rejoice on that fact. Rejoice on the fact that we are the only church that has the Eucharist. Amen. Let us pray for the church that is celebrating this Paschal Triduum. She may grow in holiness and love for Jesus Christ and proclaim the good news of his resurrection to all the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the governments of the world that they may strive for justice and peace uh, through dialogue and, and um, good discernment. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the poor, the sick, those who are alone or afraid, that this Easter may come to their help. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all of us today, that the Lord may help us to enter into this Easter Triduum with joy, uh, waiting to make Passover with the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, Heavenly Father, listen to these prayers we make to you, also the intentions within each one of us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Celebrating the memorial of our salvation, we humbly beseech your mercy, O Lord, that this sacrament of your loving kindness may be for us the sign of unity and the bond of charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as a saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as his memorial. As we eat his flesh that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong. And as we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of taking of the body and blood of Christ. We may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And so for one another the sign of peace. Peace with you. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Though Lord, I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but I only say, say the word, word and my soul, soul shall be healed. healed. 
body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. May sharing at the heavenly table sanctify us, Lord, we pray, so that through the body and blood of Christ, the whole family of believers may be bound together through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.